school, we'll have a canned food drive going from the 11th till the 22nd of November. Each class will be collecting canned food items, and the class with the most canned food items will get a prize. The house with the most canned food items will get more house points. Uh, I wonder what I can wear today. Maybe I can wear my giant jersey. Well, you're in luck. What? Are, who are you? We are the magical Mel's fairies, and you can wear your sportswear next Friday to support our second grade department. Next Friday, and you can wear your giant T-shirt. Let's go, Cole. Our second graders have been preparing for the Veterans Day performance with the musical leadership of Mr. Han, and they celebrated the veterans in the most honorable way. We want to thank all of our veterans for their service and dedication to our country. Hello, Dr. Neuron. Dr. Cerebellum. Welcome to our super secret brain lab. We are here with the answers that everybody's been waiting for. They have been. I've had so many students ask about the water challenge. So we're going to end our water challenge uh, today. Yay! Yep. Uh, we had a lot of students put their sticky notes out on our rubric. They did. Yep. We still have some who are sitting and I have no idea how to do it. Yeah, no, that's okay. And we have some who've moved their way up. We have some who've moved their way back. All of which is okay because that is called learning. Which we all do every day. That's right. That's how we grow our brains. So, Dr. Neuron, we know that the water challenge was 
moving a cup of water upside down Correct. without spilling a drop. Not a drop. And we quickly learned that props nope. were not allowed. No. Nope. So, would you like the honors of showing everybody how to do it? Yes, I will do the honors. All right. Okay. So remember, the goal was to move the cup of water Here's upside water. down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move it up, side, oops, I should go the other side, and down. Can you do that one more time, please? Without spilling a drop. Can you do that one more time? Yes. Up, side, and down. You did not spill a drop. I did it. Either time you did it, you moved that cup of water upside down. Yep, I did Without it. spilling a drop. I awesome. love that one. I, I, I clap, just, but my hands are full. <laughs> I love that trick. So now, boys and girls, some of you think you have the right answer. I had someone who came very close to the right answer. Yeah. But you know, in all of this, we had a lot of mistakes, Dr. Neuron. And that's okay. It is okay. And that is the theme of this month, actually. <gasps> November is all about making mistakes is okay. There you go. And we had lots of mistakes. So this month, everybody should be reading my one of my favorite books. I can't say it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Rosie Revere, Engineer. Yep. Which is all about making mistakes. As long as we use our mistakes and learn from them, mm -hmm. That's how our brains go. So, moving a cup of water upside down. I grew my brain tremendously when I learned how to do this. So I know our boys and girls are not going to forget this trick. That's right. They're going to be able to take this home now and share the answers with their families. That's true. That would be fun. And that's how we bump up to a level four. Yep. Fantastic. We're good. All right. We'll see you next month. Thank you. Thank you.